Certainly. Let's delve into more details surrounding Bruce Lee and the One Inch Punch. Bruce Lee's journey with martial arts began at a young age in Hong Kong, where he studied Wing Chun under the legendary Ip Man. Wing Chun's emphasis on economy of motion and direct, efficient techniques left a lasting impact on Bruce Lee's martial philosophy. As he continued to develop his skills, Lee moved to the United States, where he faced challenges and discrimination due to his ethnicity. These experiences fueled his determination to break down cultural barriers and promote the universality of martial arts. In the mid-1960s, Bruce Lee began to gain attention in Hollywood, landing roles in television series such as The Green Hornet. However, he was dissatisfied with the limitations imposed on him as an Asian actor and felt a calling to share his philosophy with a wider audience. It was during this time that he refined and popularized the concept of Jeet Kune Do, which translates to the way of the intercepting fist. The one-inch punch became one of the most iconic representations of Jeet Kune Do. In addition to its effectiveness in self-defense, Bruce Lee...